Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I'm going to be helping you guys get better at zombies. This is going to fall into the series of getting better at zombies, uh, how to and zombies. And basically I'm going to be supplying you guys with tips to get high rounds or just overall better your gameplay. So I'm going to break this right off into how to get high rounds and basically find a strategy whether that's camping, running, using a little part of them okay that's it it's either camping or training that's your two things that you you can do to get high rounds but it needs to be a strategy and it needs to be efficient something that's fast uh, there's tons of strategies out there but the fastest one will always win to give you an example you could if you wanted to walk in the front of the church out in the snow walk the zombies through the electric trap Hoard them up on the inside, walk them back through the electric trap, and keep doing it. But on a map like this, that is not efficient. You get four wonder weapons, and the easiest thing to do on this map is camp. That's why most of my gameplays, you're going to see me sitting somewhere shooting this electric bow. Now, where you camp is up to you, but you want to make sure your back is clear and they only come from one direction. So, the rest of these are going to be tips on how to get better at zombies whether you're already a pro or you're just starting out hopefully you can find something to help you so the first thing I want to say is make sure you get your perks um, and that seems kinda of simple like oh yeah I always get my perks but know your limit know whenever you need to either buy a gun or get perks now a lot of people are gonna say oh you need a gun to get into high round or get into a round or to survive you don't need jug first you just need a gun to kill zombies I agree with you but a lot of people just they hit the box and they're like oh I don't want this gun let me get this gun and the best tip for that is go ahead and buy a wall weapon VMP Vesper anything that's gonna hold a decent amount of ammo or just get an AK I think it's called the KN 44 um, and get that on the wall and that'll last you for a long time you can pack a punch it and it lasts you clean into the 30s and then some with blast furnace but make sure you get your perks early um, I I could go I think I played this game once and I forgot that I didn't have jug and it was like I don't know 15 16 and I was already upgraded I upgraded my staff I was working on another and I was just like I don't have jug it's bad it you know it doesn't matter how good you are this game right here zombies can smack you so fast one zombie can down you before you even know it it's this map and this black ops 3 is crazy for that but just make sure you're getting your perks next thing I would say is practice training zombies understand how zombies are they're never going to run faster than you can walk always remember that that's a big one people tend to forget but zombies cannot run faster than you can walk so the best option is not always running you see me run a lot because I want to get the spawn zones if you can understand the spawning too that helps well if you can just understand where you need to be to make sure zombies are spawning behind you that's whenever you want to run but if you're wanting to go somewhere and keep the horde with you walk they're never going to catch up to you you could literally walk this entire map and as long as you don't turn around or cut a corner too sharp they can never catch up with you now dogs on the other hand they can catch up to you while you're running but after like round 20 dogs do not gain more health so they're very easy to kill if you can kill them on 20 you can kill them on 120 zombies just keep walking if you need to I know that kinda gets repetitive but just know that you can always out walk a zombie and speaking about zombies speaking about hordes be able to look ahead and I know they you could do this in sports you do this in everything you plan ahead you look for a gap and you aim for that gap but you can't look for the gap there and say okay I'm going there you have to know how fast the zombies are like I said slower than your walking speed and go to the gap then and they all will tunnel to you it's a V shape to you so make sure you remember that those are just a few tips on zombies trying to get away from them if you guys like this leave a thumbs up and I will do like a part two to this and I'll keep adding on until we're all perfect zombie players and we survive for hundreds of rounds my name is Aaron and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary